What's up, Barefoot Nation? This week, I am going to be putting together and kind of unboxing a fire pit. Uh, something that really adds a nice touch of warmth to the garden, especially when you get to see what it's doing outside. Cue shot! Well, this morning I planned on doing a video about spring fever and that sort of stuff, and uh, then buffalo happened. Complaining over, back to the video. So my design concept with this, with the garden out here is to have kind of a contemporary bone structure to the garden and have like a jungle, kind of food foresty jungle grow around all this contemporary stuff. This is waterfall foam on my hands, by the way. And so I was started looking for fire pits in autumn, actually. And I started at Lowe's. There was one that I really liked, which was like uh, 190, I think. And I didn't like that it had like these, like this veneer. It wasn't the veneer that I had an issue with. It was that it was hollow and just super thin bent sheet metal at Lowe's. And so then, <laughs> Then I got on Etsy and searched contemporary fire pit. Check out the prices on these bad boys. And there's obviously like the slat things you can put together, but uh, check out the prices here. So I don't understand the whole thing that you have it rust on purpose. Can someone uh, explain that to me? I also noticed that none of these fancy fire pits came with lids. None of them mentioned that. And so it was at this very moment that I realized I had to get my head out of the clouds and out of Etsy before I swipe a credit card. All right, guys. So I already kind of uh, jumped the gun a little bit and I took off the two uh, plastic bands. Uh, the other thing you're gonna notice about this fire pit is that it's wrapped in plastic. Big shocker there. You know, I was really surprised that um, the fire pit lid is flat, Sur uh, pleasantly surprised because a lot of times the lids on fire pits are domed and um, this will be fun with some alcohol later and uh, they're all the lids are always domed and so this is going to look really nice and kind of keep with the contemporary feel of this garden. Not exactly sure, oh this is a fire stick, that's cool. This of course is your base which has been flipped upside down to accommodate the package and here's the fire bowl so again i'm going for kind of going for a contemporary vibe in my garden and you can see these uh kind of thin but it was 110 bucks um kind of going for a contemporary vibe you can see these um bolts sticking out the bottom those are going to uh there's also drainage, it looks like, too. That's good. Underneath that little tray. So as far as the base goes, talking about the base of the fire pit, not the instrument. So I'm a little disappointed in humanity that we need instructions for putting this together. It seems really straightforward, but you know, it, I, whatever. <laughs> so basically all you're gonna wanna do is uh, take the, I'll give you the instructions take the uh, line up the bolts all you're gonna want to do is line up the bolts with the holes as seen here so I did have to bend this base into place a little bit just to get the uh, the all of these four bolts through the holes even though they have um, they have a little bit of an allotment for space uh, I did have to bend this base a little bit so um, just be mindful of that you know, and they do include this crappy wrench here, but honestly, get you a good socket. This is a 7 16 um, bit, and uh, that's gonna make quick work of the installation. Um, the other thing that I like to do is there's a paver underneath this gravel, um, an 18 by 18 inch paver. Um, you can level it if you want, but um, I like to bury the base just a little bit. I don't know, I think it makes it look a little bit more purposeful and not just kind of sat there. The other thing I might do is uh, get like maybe some more, is get like some more Mexican pebbles or something of that sort, just to kind of not naturalize it, but I guess make it look more in place. 
so yeah guys that's uh basically the fire pit installation um the other thing that i forgot to mention is the base is not exactly contoured to the shape of the bowl which is a pretty nice smooth curve um so you know you're not gonna have it kind of fit together perfectly no matter how much you crank it down um that said it was an 110 dollars fire pit all right y'all hope you enjoyed the video and so next week the weather should be better so hopefully we'll be doing some more garden projects spring fever type stuff spring y'all we're talking about april thanks for watching y'all see you on the next one